Well, hello everyone. How's it going? How have you been? Really, how are you? Let me know in the comments below. I'm losing my dang mind. This is the face of a person who was up till after four last night. Okay, first of all, I had to watch the finale of Ozark. <sighs> Did you watch it? At first I was like, what? But then I read some articles online, again, for you. Um, kind of giving some opinions about, I was like, oh, okay, okay, I think I, I think it makes sense now. Okay, I won't talk about it here in case you haven't seen it, but anyway. And then working on the sticker shop. Y'all, can I just dig myself into an OCD mess of a hole? Oh my gosh, I keep going round and round with the stickers on Etsy, on eBay. As I post film now, the stickers are not currently on eBay because I am working on getting everything straightened out on Etsy and changing the listing so that every order or every listing is um, one sticker, okay? Because um, I have a lot of stickers that have just come in and I got a lot more coming. So we're gonna do the one sticker thing. Looking at other sticker shops of how they price, how they run things, um, cause you know, cause it's all new. Um, so making a lot of changes so people can just order one sticker. I was, you know, back and forth with free shipping on everything. Cause I like free shipping. It makes life easier, but to run free shipping on a sticker business, that's, that's going to, that's going to overwhelm me real quick. So I changed it back, um, to charging shipping. But then if someone spends $35 or more, they get free shipping, um, which is, you know, another Etsy thing. They kind of push that. They chose $35 for some reason, but it does work for a sticker shop um, business. So, and since now I have a lot more stickers coming in, I'm going to have a lot more to offer and it'll be hopefully easier for people to like look at the store and be like, okay, I do want to spend, you know, that much money and get that free shipping. So working on all of those, once I get everything sorted, then I'll um, maybe put some more over on eBay. I liked the idea of cross posting to eBay, number one, because I can do international shipping. But then on the other hand, international shipping is so expensive anyway, and then on sticker. So I could run the same promo over there. You know, you spend so much, you get free shipping, could do that. Um, but right now I just need to focus on Etsy and getting that whole shop because I am paying the $10 a month for the store. And I've been, um, I have a $5 a day Etsy ad budget. Now I don't know if it's been spending because again, I don't have that much in there. Um, but yeah, I'm, you know, I'm committed to getting the sticker shop thing going and working. And my dream would be if eventually my sticker shop, um, net income, not sales, net could match my publishing uh, income, my Amazon books. That would be the dream. I love having more than one business because I hate having all my eggs in one basket. So having two separate, really separate businesses, things that don't overlap at all, Amazon books, Etsy stickers. Of course, I still have eBay and YouTube, but this YouTube is just the, oh my gosh. I have all the people, you know, they're like, I finally got 100,000 subscribers and they're making full-time or, you know, YouTube income. I'm like, yeah, I'm over here, but that's okay. I can't, you know, and part of me is like, I kind of like the smaller audience because it's more, you know, it's you guys, you know me, you've been here a long time versus like you get these big channels you just get all kinds of crazy people coming on you you know what I mean so not really worried about the uh, AdSense um, more using it just you know keep myself accountable more than anything and I do like to film um, you guys can see what I'm doing so anyway and when the theme park opens this summer hopefully I can get out there and shoot some vlogs in the theme park but right now we're doing stickers so I did get new stickers in I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you those and show you what I've been doing to my office to turn it into a sticker shop. Not an eBay store anymore. We got an, we got an Etsy sticker shop going on in here and it's much easier to manage because stickers are much smaller than the giant things I used to sell on eBay. All right, here's kind of a look. So you can see here, I'm gonna show you um, my little setup. So next to my desk, I have my digital scale for packages. Um, I've got my thank you cards. I have two sizes of envelopes now, these brown craft envelopes. I ordered these on Amazon. I did go to Staples to try to buy them locally, but the prices were insane. Also, if I show you something in here, well, I'll link everything. I'll link my Amazon. I have it under reselling supplies 
and Vistaprint where I order cards and Sticker Mule um, where I order my stickers from. Um, and just because I always get asked, I um, purchase graphics and then 90% of the time I tinker with them, I change coloring stuff, and then I upload the file to Sticker Mule and order stickers that way. Some stickers I have designed myself and you'll see those here in a moment, but um, I got this on Amazon, this rose gold thing. So I just kind of needed something I just wanted something up here to hold the thank you, um, thank you seals. I got those on Vistaprint. And then the return address labels in case I just use a stamp. Was this necessary? Eh, probably not. I don't know where all the bubble mailers went from my eBay business. If you know, let me know, because I can't find them. Um, so I ordered some, again, these were on Amazon. Uh, the pink color, just love that bright pink. And I got three different sizes. Again, if somebody orders um, something that's going to have to go first class package versus letter. Here I have the clear labels. These are from when I sold clothes on eBay and Poshmark. I don't know why I got this size. But anyway, oh, and Amazon FBA. That's what I use these for. I was like, why did I get these? No, this was Amazon FBA stuff. Um, and then some other ones. And this is extra stuff. I'm hopefully, I wanna get to a point where I can do like freebies, give somebody a free sticker in each order. Like, so this is kind of where I'm throwing that stuff. I have a bunch of these pins. I just listed those um, over on Etsy. What's nice is the, like these, um, the pug stickers, the pi or the pineapple, the popsicle stickers, they're now in one listing, but then you can choose what you want. So if you want the five inch magnet, the five inch sticker, I've got three inch sticker, three inch magnet. I think that's a four inch sticker, four inch magnet sticker. What's this? I don't even know. It's in the listing. Um, we'll look at the new stickers in a moment. Okay, I'm testing out sticker storage. This I really like, just a hanging wall thing. However, it's it works great for these five inch um, London stickers that I got, the London icons, the phone booth, the taxi cab, the bus, because they go in like this. But the typewriter, which is five, kind of like five by five, that doesn't fit. Um, also, the five-inch gumball doesn't fit. Um, so, the three-inch stickers here, these fit. Um, but then again, some of the three-inch are, you know, these are like three-inch wide. They kind of can get lost in there. Then when I go to get one, it's kind of stuck. So, I'm still, I'm still figuring out this. Um, and then I have this, which is marketed as a cell phone holder. The listings show this like a teacher would have it at their desk and the kids have to put their phones in it. Or restaurants, you'd put your cell phone in it. This works great for the three inch items. Um, so you can see I have those in. I have the gumball magnets, the gumball stickers. These I just put in here. The roller skates. These are the holographic gumballs. Like those would fit well in there, actually. The typewriters, yeah, those would fit. This, I like to just make sure of these because it has that little edge there. I don't want it to get torn. And then I have the magnets for that. So I'm just, you know, figuring out how I want to do it. I might do like the magnets could go in this, the stickers could go in that. And then I got some new stuff in. Here we go for the new, oh, and this is that sunglass case, which does work well to put the five inch ones in. Um, oh, I got those at Sam's Club. They come with bamboo lids. I don't know where the lids went. Anyway, I got some new stickers in. Okay, so we have these reseller stickers and I got the holographic. These are three inch. These, I love these. I've already sold one of those. Um, and then the regular non-holographic. So like with this, the listing, you can pick either or both. So I like that. Look at that. Uh, maybe I should just make everything a prism, you know? Okay. Oh, a couple more coloring books I just got up on Amazon. Ocean Animals. 
I know you're thinking, couldn't you have been more creative? Like, you know, marine life or under the sea. Yeah, those things can be trademarked. So I just go with generic ocean animals as well as birds. I could have put beautiful birds, exotic birds. But again, I was like, mm, you just want to be careful with trademark because some small random company could have that trademark. Are they going to come after you? Probably not, but I'm not taking any chances. So we got birds and ocean animals. Those are on Amazon. Okay, here are the new stickers. Lots of reselling stickers. And look, you guys, this is hilarious. Okay, the I break for wherever you shop. So we've got the estate sale one. This is five by probably like four, five and four and a half. Um, these are vinyl waterproof. You can put them on your car. That's why I made them so big. So I thought this would be great if you want to put it on your car window, your car bumper, whatever. So we've got the colorful ones and the black and white. And then I have very similar for the um, rummage sales, if you call them rummage sales. So either or. Then, <laughs> these are also five inch, but because of the way I designed them, <laughs> the height is less, but it's the same price. I, you know, I pay the same price for however wide tall it is, as long as it's under five inches or five inches either way. So I've got the garage sales, color or black and white, yard sales, color, black and white, and tag sales, color, black, and white. Let me know, do you like one or the other? I suppose I could make bigger ones of the garage and those, or those three, and then also make smaller ones of these. I don't know. They cost me the same amount, amount, amount of money to make at this size, so I have to charge the same amount, but I just feel like I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know. This size, this size, in terms of it's being taller, or offer both options, let me know. Then I have some author stickers uh, that I made, and I just did these in black and white, um, just to see if they would sell. So the author life is the only life for me, writer, storyteller, editor, publisher, author, and write, edit, publish, repeat, and these are three inch, and then more reselling stuff. Don't talk to me, I'm doing reseller stuff. Uh, reselling is my superpower. The reseller life is the only life for me. An antiques, vintage, collectible, retro drunk. So I love these. Again, I just did the black and white. See if the um, style, if it was, you know, if people like it, then I can order other sizes. I can do magnets. Um, three inch is kind of the standard in the sticker shop world I'm finding out. And I believe, to be honest, that is because three inch is the largest size you can get before the price jumps a lot. So like the difference between a three inch sticker and a five inch sticker is a lot versus a two inch sticker and a three inch sticker costs the same. Sometimes even a um, one inch sticker might be the same as a three. So I feel like people do three because it's the biggest at the best value. Also, because most people are using these, um, they're putting them on water bottles, laptops, you know, they're sticking them somewhere. So this is a good size for that. But, you know, if things prove popular, that's when I'll expand to other sizes, maybe do magnets and whatnot. Okay, then we have a couple of cassettes. Who remembers this particular color, shape, look of the cassettes. I know I had, I think I not only had the cassettes that looked like this, but I feel like I had other things, like maybe, maybe it was stickers that looked like this or stationary or something. I don't know. That just, this one brought back such a memory. And then this is kind of the more traditional. Now this is another thing. I made this one blue, but I could make it other colors and like do a set, do magnets, make it bigger, but we'll just, I'm just testing out. I did these vintage phones and that's what they look like there. And I made this one a pink color because I just thought it was so fun and girly. Got more of the antique wood look there, the wall kind and this wall kind. The hard part about listing these always is I'm like, what do you call this? What do you call this? Some ice cream cones. Now here's what this, look, okay, here's where I get tripped up because like this is a three inch sticker here, you know, nice big size. But then I get this ice cream cone and it's that size because obviously ice cream cones are not as wide 
And I'm like, I'm learning that I need to make the stickers look for images that are more square like this because it gives you the sense of, I feel like, a better value. This These cost the same to make, but I feel like because it's smaller, it's the perceived like, well, it's, it's not as good, even though it costs the same. But anyway, I've got the vanilla strawberry. And again, don't you remember this from like the 80s? Just this kind of look of the cone and the ice cream drip. Avon had a comb that looks like this. That's what that reminds me of. The mint or pistachio in the sugar cone. And then this, um, they're, they're wrapped up. That's why they kind of look. And like a strawberry soft serve in the cake cone. So testing the ice cream. This is an electric typewriter in red. I love that. I made this camper in like a teal just to give it some, instead of just doing a silver, to give it something extra. And then this camera, these camera stickers, I'm doing as a set. Um, so it's a set of four. I thought about doing that with the phones too, but I feel like the thing with the cameras, it's you cannot use trademark names, right? Like we all know that this looks like a Polaroid camera, but I can't say that that's a Polaroid. I can't say that this is a Kodak, whatever it used to be called. I have to describe them generally. Um, so I thought I'd just do that as a set. This one, I don't know if I should maybe do a set of these two. I mean, I love them all. If it were me, I feel like I'd want all of them. So I think I might do this as a set too, and we'll see how it goes. Just a little easier you know, to list them that way. And like I said, I just, I wouldn't be able to choose. So I'm going to try those as a set to start out again, see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so now I am just busy listing and trying to straighten everything out. And then when I get stuff listed, I come over here and figure out where I'm going to put it. I do like the idea, maybe, like I said, of the magnets in this. Um, and then the stickers can go in there. That does fit well, I think. I think it does. Well, now that I am like it, we're just gonna stand here and watch me put things in there. Well, okay. Okay, you go in there. Typewriter stickers. But those are typewriter magnets. That would help me keep it separate. Figure out what's the magnet, what's the sticker. Cause like these, I have magnets of but also smaller stickers. Well, isn't that so informative? There we go. And this hangs, I just stuck it there, but you could do nails in the wall or it also comes with an over the door hanger. So that's a look. Oh, and that's my shipping cart with other crap in it. That's a look at the sticker shop. Now back to listing. <laughs> Okay guys, I did it. I got everything that I showed you listed. It is up, it is on Etsy. And then I started a sale on Etsy. So stickers are all 15% off. The $35 free ship is set. So we shall see. I have many more stickers coming. <laughs> but here's kind of what I've been doing, um, putting them in here. I haven't even opened these yet though. Um, and I did do this as a set, this set of phones. I did put those up as a set. Um, yeah. So anyway, and like I said, it was just because I was having trouble like figuring out how to describe them, but we'll see how it goes. Again, I ordered small packs of most of this stuff just to test it. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I told you already I was up till 4 a.m. last night and then today took the dogs to the groomer. I spend more time in the car on the days they go to the groomer because I, I got to get them in the car, drive them there, get them out, get them in. I had then drive back home, try to do something at home for uh, like 30 minutes, and then it's time to go get him again, drive over, get him in the car. It's exhausting. <laughs> so I am so, so tired. I'm going to go out and sit with him now and take a break. You going to fold laundry, Dad? Uh-huh. Are you going to fold the laundry? Yes, I am. You still got that job down, don't you? Yeah. How's George? <laughs> Named his walker George because it's like having another person in the house. He's as big as a person. He's in the way. He requires as much maintenance as a person. So that's his Walker George, which was also his brother, one of his brothers. <laughs> I got the puppies here. 
Ready to take some naps, Teddy? Did you go to the groomer? You're so clean. Were you a good boy at the groomer? You were. Yeah. You got a little waggity tail. Oh, you got your tail a wagging. <laughs> You're gonna watch Pop, aren't you? Teddy, Charlie tired, aren't you, Charlie? Yes. I was going to end the vlog yesterday and then I forgot. Yes, I've thrown a beach towel over my mess. <laughs> I'm, I've got a plan to clean that up, okay? Anyway, before I ended the vlog, I wanted to mention um, the colonoscopy prep I'm doing because I said something about that in my last video and some of you wanted me to update you. So I'm getting colonoscopy next week. The recommendation now is for everyone over 45. So it's my turn. Um... Now I have done a colon cleanse before, before my hysterectomy, because that surgeon was a sadist. You don't even need to do it, but he liked people to do it. And it was the big gallon stuff that you had to drink, which was torture. One of my high school classmates posted on Facebook when he got his, um, that he had gotten this. I think his wife is a nurse and that's how they knew about it. Um, so it's Clen, Clen Peak, C-L-E-N-P-I-Q. Um, I don't think most insurance covers this. Mine didn't. Um, this cost me $135 out of pocket. Of course, after I got it in the mail, they had sent me a, ten, a $40 off coupon. So if you want this and you ask the doctor, nurse, um, for it, ask if they have the coupon and then make sure you get the coupon before you go pick it up. Anyway. Um, so it would have been $40 less, but still expensive. But if you've ever had to do one of these before, they're not fun if you're doing the big gallon. What this is, it's two bottles and these are just straight shots. There's no dilution. So you drink one the day before, you drink one the morning of, that's it. There's not the gallon stuff. Um, I don't know what it tastes like. It's probably not great, but then you do need to drink a lot of water afterwards, which is fine with me because I drink a lot of water. So that's not gonna be a problem. Um, evening before you drink the bottle and then within the next five hours, you need to drink eight ounces of a clear liquid. Um, and clear liquids are, do, 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 where'd it go? Water, black coffee or tea, clear broth, sports drink, ginger ale or other sodas, clear juices, plain jello, a frozen juice bar. You cannot drink anything that's red or purple, no alcohol, juice pulp, milk, cream, soy or non-dairy creamer or other liquids you can't see through. So I will probably be living off of ginger ale, Sprite, 7-Up, I'll get something like that and some jello, although, not red or purple. So I suppose like lime or orange, I don't know. And maybe I'll get a juice bar or something. I don't really like juice and I don't drink coffee or tea. I don't think I had a sports drink before. So I'll just be going with the clear Sprite like drinks and something Jello and something fruit bar. If you know a good flavors of Jello, cause it says it can't be red or purple. Well, those are my favorite colors. The red ones and the purple grape one. <laughs> Anywho, so, and then the morning of four hours before you drink one of these, the second one, and then you need three cups of clear liquid finishing before two hours before the appointment. So that is that Clin, Clin Peak stuff for those of you who asked. And yeah. The other thing I'm doing is I'm getting a medical transport ride, um, which I'm actually really excited about because y'all, this is gonna be like my, my, my vacation, okay? Where I actually get to just like leave and not have to worry about anything for a while. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, who doesn't love a good poop, a good colon cleansing and then a nap because they knock you out at the doctor. I'm like, I'm all for it, let's go. But yeah, that is that for those of you who asked. And now I'm going to end the vlog. If you liked it, definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure you are subscribed. 
Anything else? I don't know. That's it. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. And here's two, here's two colon cleanses for those of us who are 45 and older. Got to do it. Get it done. Let me know if you've had one colonoscopy recently. If you want to share, you don't have to share. Did you do this or did you do the giant gallons? Ugh. I remember they, it was horrible. I couldn't finish it either. It was like two jumbo gallons. I remember I couldn't finish it. But like I said, it was for a hysterectomy. I didn't even like need to do it. That doctor just liked people to do it. Like who likes to make people do a giant colon cleanse? I told you he was a sadist. Okay, anyway, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Bye.